Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll tell you everything about Venus flytrap root rot, how to determine if your plant is sick, how to save your plant from dying if it is suffering from root rot, and ultimately how to prevent it. So first of all, if you're noticing that your plant is down, maybe there is an increase in black leaves, then it could be suffering from, from root rot. Generally, the presence of black leaves is nothing to be alarmed of, but it can be a sign that there is something wrong. Another possible sign from root rot is the presence of an odor. Generally, Venus flytraps do not have any type of odor. If you notice the presence of any bad smell within your plant, it could be caused uh, by a rot. It is not always the case. It is true that sometimes Venus flytraps consume a bug and the leaf is not able to digest it and then the bug starts decomposing and smelling badly. That is also possible. So those two uh, black leaves or bad smells could be signs of root rot, but they're not definite. If you are actually worried that your plant uh, could be suffering from root rot, you have to do the ultimate test, which is checking the bulb. So uh, I do not have a sick Venus flytrap with me, but this is uh, what I would do to inspect for root rot. First of all, if you, can, if you can do just a simple test, just press the soil around the bulb of your plant and check for any changes in color. The bulb is usually white uh, and it could have some reddish area or pinkish areas but it's mostly white. If you notice some black, some dark spots within the bulb, then those are clear signs of root rot. The root rot is not always easily, uh, it's not always easy to spot from the top, from the ground because it's placed underground. So in some cases you have to actually extract the plant from the pot to be able to inspect the bulb. But if you are actually worried that your plant is suffering from root rot, you must do that because uh, root rot can kill your plant very, very quickly. Uh, the rotting in your plant's uh, roots is caused by an increase, an increasing amount of too much humidity within the environment and the presence of fungus or bacteria in the soil. That fungus or bacteria starts eating the bulb of your plant and the root system weakens, it breaks up, the leaves start dying, and ultimately the plant dies. So if uh, your plant is suffering from root rot, you must act quickly. So remember, uh, you know that your plant is suffering from root rot if it has those black specks uh, that usually look like a mushy type of consistency, and it has a bad smell. To be able to fix root rot, you will need three main things. First, you will need a small pair of scissors, you will need fresh carnivorous plant soil, so Venus flytrap soil. And uh, third, you will need distilled water or rainwater. So to be able to remove the root rot, first of all, you have to remove your plant from the pot. So completely remove the plant from the pot, clean it up with distilled water, make sure all the soil is out, so you end up with just the plant. I'll show you a picture right here of how healthy plants look like, how the bulb looks, but it's white in color and then you can compare it with, uh, with, your, sick, with your sick plant to, um, to double check that it, uh, this has been caused by root rot. So now let's go into the process. So you take the plant out of the pot, you place it in a table, and then you will use a small pair of scissors to remove all the infected area. So all that area that is dark in color, you will take it out. And also remove any leaves that are associated with that part of the bowl. Usually the leaves start dying once the bulb has been compromised. So remove all that and just end up with uh, the clean part of the bulb and the remaining leaves. If there are not too many leaves left, that is okay. Your plant still have high chances of survival. So uh, after you have removed that part, uh, rinse your plant again with distilled water or rain water. And now go into your pot. So your pot maybe is still with all the, the previous soil. That soil is not good anymore because it has that fungus and that bacteria. So you must toss all that soil and wash through it, that pot. So do, do not reuse that soil. Instead, get new soil and fill out that pot with that new soil. After you have moistened it up with some distilled water, then you can pot your Venus flytrap with the already removed rod within that new, new and fresh soil. After that, there is not much more you can do. The only thing you can do is wait 
and just make sure to give your plant enough light, a uh, good amount of water, but just to keep the environment humid. Remember that if your plant has been suffering from root rot, it is very likely that you were overwatering it. So that was the main cause. So just keep that in mind, make sure the environment is humid, but it's not swamp, it's, it's not flooded. Um, so continue to do that for a few weeks and your plant should start to recover. Now, let's go into the main part, uh, well, uh, the most important part of the video, that is how to prevent root rot. To prevent root rot in Venus flytrap, you must follow these two considerations. One, in terms of the soil. A lot of people use uh, pure moss, either peat moss or long sphagnum moss. Those are acceptable potting materials, but they do not always provide the best drainage. You need soil with good drainage to prevent rotting. So I recommend to, to mix your moss with our perlite or silica sand to be able to break up that soil, provide better aeration, and also make sure that you have enough drainage for your plant. So water won't be standing and won't be, uh, the soil won't hold the water for so long, but it will actually flow and you always have new water, new water flowing. The second uh, important consideration to prevent root rot is to pick the right pot. Sometimes you find in a store a very, a very cute looking pot, a very pretty pot, but it doesn't have a drainage hole. That is a problem. It is, it is possible to grow Venus flytraps almost in any type of pot, but reality is that the no drainage hole will be a lot more challenging. So unless you are very, very experienced, I wouldn't recommend trying to experiment with no drainage pots. I, for example, found this container, which I thought it was very cool for a terrarium, but for a beginner carnivorous plant grower or Venus flytrap grower trying to build a terrarium with, with no, no drainage for a Venus flytrap, that can be very challenging and can, can create the rotting problem that I just talked about. So that is all about Venus flytrap root rot from how to determine if your plant is sick, how to save it, and how to prevent it. If you want more information about the topic, I have a whole article at venusflytrapworld.com slash root. Uh, feel free to browse around the site. Also, make sure to subscribe and like this video if you like it. Thank you.